do another real talk reaction. This one is for The Walking Dead, season 10, episode 14. Yes, before we get to episode 14, I want to feature a couple comments from the YouTube. The YouTube. <laughs> First one being from longtime supporter Fat Jan, who says, as usual, a great reaction and review video. Didn't anyone notice Michonne twirling her ring on her finger? Isn't oh. it the same ring she was toting around on her necklace? How come after all this time she decided to put it on her finger? Oh. Does this mean she and Rick had actually gotten married? Oh, could be a possibility. This episode is setting things up for the movies. Strange how Rick's boots were found neatly put on a shelf. He would never part with them. He would even sleep in them, especially when he's on the run. Yeah. He must have he, he must have been taken for that to happen where he had no choice but to leave his belongings behind. Uh -huh. Maybe the place where Jadis and the helicopter took him to turned out to be a bad place. Maybe he and his new friend, the artist who drew Michonne and Judith on the phone, escaped, got on that boat, and were captured by some other group. Doesn't seem there was a struggle, so maybe they ran or they were drugged and taken. A lot of good maybes there. No way yeah. to know, though. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Michelle knows he's in trouble and is using the log to see where he might have been taken, the book log that was in the uh -huh. ship. Um, this is exciting. I hope it won't be too long before we find out more because it is not going to just end here. This season has been good thus far. I cannot wait to see the new adventure that lie ahead of Michonne on her quest to find Rick and bring him home. Totally agree. Um, yeah. I'm super hyped about that now too. Um, and I, I feel mean, like they, but is that going to be in this season no, or the whole other in, show or the movie thing? I think it's going to be in the movie. Okay. Um, which would be awesome if the movie's actually Michonne trying to find Rick and then towards the end they actually have. Because then you can create more movies. Yeah, because I think it's supposed to be like, what, two or three movies out of this? I don't know. Yeah, it was more than just one. So. But it'd be fantastic if that was the first movie. It's just like her going, like following her along her path to find yeah. Rick or whatever and everything that she comes faces up against, like, I would be about it. I would totally watch Walkers. it. Walkers. Um, I didn't even know she was leaving the show until you guys were saying that. Yeah, so I mean, like, I, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess I must have missed that. Yeah, so, point. that I mean, it makes, they perfectly set up this, uh, the movie, so, with her, with how they did last yeah. episode. All right, next comment is from Miss Fatty S., longtime supporter as well, who <laughs> says, hey guys, this episode was so intense, I'm so happy she found some Rick clues. She's gonna go for him now. She, she don't die. Mm. She don't die easy. As Rick, so I really hope we will have a happy ending with them reunited with the group. Also, the nicknames between Michonne and Judith are so cute. Uh, Daito means long sword and Shoto means small sword. That's adorable. I didn't realize that. That's super cute. What is that? Chinese? Um, I don't know. So. Um, the two people at the end, they are dressed the same as Virginia and his group in Fear the Walking Dead. Who uh, the two the Andrew guy and the and the girl that were in the at the end yeah yeah that one we'll show maybe all the shows will cross at the end I just want to see Rick back he is the Walking Dead take care guys yeah hundred percent I want to yeah, see Rick, Rick, well. Rick ain't coming back though they but we'll see him in the that. movie but that's we'll what yeah. yeah. Um, Ramon Carter says, heads up guys, episode 16 is delayed. We won't get the season finale until God knows when, which is so annoying. <laughs> yeah. Stupid coronavirus. Yeah. Um, Monroe Patricia says, will you be uploading Negan first appearance episode reactions last day anywhere? So, uh, Monroe, if you didn't realize, uh, or if you are new to our channel, we had an existing channel before well, this. First of all, thank you for joining this channel. Yes. If you didn't know though, our ex first channel that we had got shut down, um, and we lost all of our content. Lame. So a lot of the Walking Dead and things of that nature were lost. We couldn't get it yep. off. Um, we'll double check though to see if maybe we have something in like... The backlogs or something, yeah. um, but most of that content was lost, yeah. um, and we couldn't get it off YouTube once they yeah. shut down our channel. Yeah, All so. right, next comment is from longtime supporter two. A little bit of a longer comment from Chrissy Howard, who says, "Hey guys, I'm sorry I haven't commented in a while. I've had a lot going over on over the past month. Hey, and we half, totally understand that, and would love to share it with you guys because you make me feel safe and heard. Aww. As I said, I love to share my story with you guys, but only if you want to hear it." If not, no harm, no foul. I never want to impose on people. And I very much realize everyone has a lot going on, especially with the yeah. state of the world as it is right now. I'm also writing because you guys have only reacted to one Lock and Key episode from what I've seen, <laughs> whereas several of the other shows you do have been reacted to more than once since then. Is yeah. there a reason for this? So basically, we're going to... We paused Lock and Key just because it had just dropped and we didn't have the time allocated to really watch it. I don't yeah. want to watch the show without reacting to it because I'm super excited about the show. 
show too. We're definitely planning on reacting to the entirety mm -hmm. of the season, so that will be coming. We're just trying to make time for some of the other uh, shows that have a little bit more um, interest in. Uh, not from us, but from some of our patrons and stuff like yeah. that too. So definitely, I will not watch that show without reacting to it, Chrissy. So don't worry about it. I love the first episode. So yeah, those it was will really be coming. Yeah. yeah. Um, Chrissy goes on to say, I'm absolutely obsessed with this show and it only gets better with each episode that passes. There are also okay. two other Netflix shows that I know you guys would uh, love based on the content you guys provide here. You may have heard of these shows already, especially the second one I named because that show is on its third third season. If you haven't heard of either one of these, I will give a brief spoiler-free synopsis of each. The first show being, I am not okay with this I'm not okay with oh, that. Oh, that's the name of the show. Okay. Yeah, the okay first one that. being, I am not okay with this. If this, if the movies Carrie and Breakfast Club had a baby, it would be the show. It's a coming-of-age story that follows the main character, Sid, who is very socially awkward, navigating high school, all while reconciling whether or not she has telekine telekinetic powers or if she is losing her mind. Sprinkled in the in is the fact that she's unsure about her sexuality, mm -hmm. has lost her father, and has a strained relationship with her mother. Oh, she got some drama. <laughs> yeah. While it is mostly a comedy, there are dramatic moments that cut severely deep. This show okay. is created by the same people who created another Netflix series called The End of the Fucking World. Yeah. Oh, we started yeah, we, that one. Yeah, we watched that a little bit. Yeah, and while I haven't seen that one, this one makes me at least want to check it out. It stars a girl from It Chapter 1. Yeah. There's only one season so far and there are only seven episodes, not exceeding 25 minutes. Oh, I didn't realize it was so short. Yeah, I mean, it is. Um, it's an easy, fun, quick watch. It's worth a shot, in my opinion. The second show I wanted to recommend is by far one of my favorite shows of Netflix original content. It's called On My Block, and it centers mm. around four main characters from the inner city and sometimes awesome fifth wheel who are also trying to navigate high school, but instead of trying to figure out if they have superpowers, they are dealing with real life shit like trying to live to see their 16th birthdays in a community stricken with gang violence. But it's so much more than that. On My Block has characters that we can all relate to, mm. especially us black and brown folks. The story yeah. they tell is so authentic and it's a serious show, but they use comedy so beautifully that it takes your mind off some of the things these teenagers have to deal with. The show has three seasons, with the first two seasons having ten episodes, and the newly released third season has eight. But once okay. again, the episodes don't exceed 30 minutes. I love shows that don't exceed 30 minutes. I like minutes. how you're throwing that yeah. in there. Hey, these you, short, you know, These are quick. Y'all can get through these. Get through these. I see what you're doing there, Chrissy. I love what you Doing your due diligence. <laughs> that's what I'm talking this about. This is how you sell a show. Yeah, that's how you pitch it. <laughs> uh, this sh where did I, I love for you guys to react to both, but if I had to pick one, it would be on my block, hands down, starting with season one. Sorry this is such a lengthy comment, but I wanted to recommend a couple shows since we are hopefully all safe in our homes with limited things to do do i hope you guys and your families are doing well by the way also to give yeah. you guys an update on my health if you are interested please let me know the best place to reach you privately if not please continue your content because i love you guys i also hope we can get another lock and key episode soon because i'm absolutely obsessed man. have a great night i look forward to hearing from you thanks chrissy right, that was man. a great comment that's one of the longest comments we had right there I got good it. job good no job. that's a great comment and if, yeah. if you want to email us, if you want to email us directly you can reach us at realtalkreactions at gmail.com definitely hit us up <laughs> yeah um but appreciate the recommendations that was a great pitch. Yeah. You're very good at that. Yeah. Um, and thank you to everyone for leaving comments. Those are all great comments. We appreciate yep. those. Keep those coming. For sure. And without further ado, let's get to episode 14. Nah. Damn. Right. Damn, she playing this shit for a long time. Word has it you are a certified badass. Mm -hmm. But you missed your shot. What happens if I muff it too? Could make things a hell of a lot worse for every man, woman, and child behind these walls. And despite what people may think of me, I am absolutely not down with that. So you bring me off his head. And that's what the people will remember. He you literally for. brought her. I'll make sure of it. His yeah. head, her head. <sighs> not yet. I go back there without you, there is a noose around my neck the second I step foot in there. Then wait. Wait, don't wait. It's up to you. I need to be alone. Shit like that takes time. So we got back in his face. Well, what do you want me to wait in? I mean, wait he should or... honestly just go find someone else to go. Like, 
It's hard to be out there by yourself, baby. No resources. But like, if he goes back, they're totally gonna kill him. Yeah. Man. They ain't got no phones. I mean, Carol, look, look here. If, I, where you want me to be at? I can, can we, where you want me to be at? Cause I can't find nowhere to be at. So when you say alone, you mean yeah, like, like you don't want me to come with you? So I stay here by the stick. I don't know if that's a good plan either. The kids are good. All of them. We got lucky. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. But someone else should have the adventure. Meet the new people. I'm alone, didn't you? It's okay, Miko. You'll be leaving at the worst time, Mike. There's nothing for you to fix.
So when Alpha took me in... Even my memories had bars on them, babe. I admit it. I, I dropped I bars this episode. Is that supposed to make me like him? But what about my winning personality? <laughs> I can't stand him. <laughs> Even Daryl almost smiled. Right yeah. There. And he's pissed off. Look how he got mad at himself. Like, I can't believe I just smiled. You are a clown, boy. What about Carol? <laughs> She's tired. Oh, I was like, why is she rocking? Gypsy lady. Look, they put a fan in her. They, who set up this town like this? <laughs> <laughs> he's losing it. He's <laughs> cracking up. That was episode 14 of The Walking Dead, and okay, um, you know, some things happened in there I didn't, think, didn't see going that way. I didn't think Alpha Head was going to last that long. We finally got to see who Beta is as a, his original self. The Which a lot of you guys guy. told us too that he was the country singer, yeah. but we got to see the actual posters and but such. But I mean, reflected. what's up with the electricity in that building? That's the only building left with electricity, or was that battery-powered record player? I don't know. I guess we just went with it on that on that part. Um, I did like Negan finally getting his redemption with Daryl. At least somebody he got somebody that uh, can believe him. My favorite part of it though happened. was when uh, Negan does his typical like, well, what about my charming personality? And you see Daryl have like yeah. that little he glimmer of a smile, a smirk and then he like got annoyed with himself. Was like, why am I smiling at that? Yeah. So like. It's so conflicting because, like, we still remember the Negan that was. Oh, it's just like that was seven years ago. I know it's just so it's so like difficult because like Negan's such a charming character. Like yeah. he's just it's annoyingly so um, that even Daryl is just like you're fucking you're pissing me off. Don't yeah. make me like you. I don't want to like being, you. Stop being so nice, man. And you know, and I'm hoping that Carol came back. I'm hoping she's done with the selfishness. I, I, I mean, it's done. Your whole plan of doing what you need is done. Everything was executed Alpha like you wanted. Alpha is gone. Revenge <laughs> has been gotten. Do you feel any better? Probably not right now, but hopefully soon we can move past this. Because the war is coming. We got Carol back on the team, though, which is good because we're going to need all hands on deck now. What do you mean the war is coming? You mean with Beta? Yeah, Beta's going to bring the whole swarm of motherfuckers about to do come through. I thought he was about to kill himself, but obviously not. That would, that would be too lame. I thought what he was going to do <laughs> is let... Start dancing no, with the No, is walkers. let Alpha bite him, and then like they both be walkers be together yeah, or something. Like, I just thought that yeah. that's what I was going to do. I so thought I he was like, going to off himself right there, but then I'm like, well, we got two episodes left. I don't know what would you do then, since we won't have no more enemies. Because obviously ain't nobody else stepping up. Well, I mean, now, we, now we just saw Eugene um, and Ezekiel in the city now. And we just mm -hmm. had to introduce, uh, introduce a, a new person. I will say, I think it's hilarious, the setup in the city. Like, that is just... Yeah. So we expect a lot of extra time and effort really to make and that. who was this crazy girl? Is that the girl he was talking to, you think? It had to be her, It didn't right? sound like her voice, but I I mean, it's difficult to tell. But it probably is her. You know, radio voice is different than, like, in live person voice. And maybe so. when she was like, yeah, we have our own community, maybe she thinks all those walkers are part of her, like, community. Her, she probably crazy. She's probably all by herself. It's only, yes, yeah, it's only one crazy girl. Who's got Ooh. a machine gun or something. She had a gun. Uh, you see her crazy face when they show up. She's like, oh, oh, my God, real people. Yeah, like. I haven't left the 
city since like it happened. But these are all my people too. Yeah, I, I look killed, at my community. I, I do you, do you guys see George when you're coming in? He's always yeah. He's so crazy. He's always in that rocking chair. Did you see the Patty? Guy, Patty giving tickets. Patty giving tickets. Yeah, like, they always giving tickets out here. It's gonna be crazy. She's a she's gonna be a Lulu bird. Yeah, I kill all these people personally. Yeah. So. She's gonna, so so she gonna be a little crazy. You got anybody? In the I'm not, I don't have high hopes for this situation at all. Yeah, no, I don't think she got a community. No, I think at she all. does, but she doesn't realize they're all. Yeah, they all. Just like the, the last dude with Michonne. Okay. Yeah, it's crazy. Come on back with me. I got I got guns and people. We got a whole thing going on. No, it's just in the cage. All the crazies are coming That's out it. right now. Crazies so all she's probably out. gonna be trying to do is how can I kill these three and set them up in the way that I need to set them up. In my community, that's probably what it's gonna turn to. Some weird, crazy. I have no idea. I want to kill you guys and make you like. What can I do? What kind of setup can I do for you guys? I think that's just bonkers. Yeah. But I thought it was a great episode. I did like seeing Carol having the the internal debate with Alpha. I yeah. think it's very reflective because ultimately, what Alpha was like, "Do you just want to die? Because yeah. you keep doing all this crazy shit. Do you just yeah. want to die?" And yeah. she's like, "Ultimately, I don't want to die. I'm gonna go back." So I think that was like her like. Facing all of her like regrets and like stress and like selfishness and mm -hmm. I think like she's like I just gotta go face I want to be with my family I gotta face all the bullshit I'm gonna have I deserve all the bullshit I'm gonna get yep. and it is what it is but unknowingly Carol and uh, Negan have unleashed a much worse beast and I don't know why no one thought this through like even Negan who sees Beta who actually yeah. was within the, the the realms of being around Beta and yeah. saw how crazy Beta was yeah, he, how did not think Beta was not going to retaliate way worse than yeah. anything Alpha did and nobody even mentioned his name like hey we gotta look out for the big guy or like why why wouldn't Negan especially be like yo we can't take out Alpha without taking out Beta because that dude is crazy yeah like he's way he crazier cracker. He cracker, like so. he's completely psychopathic insane yeah I like mean, legitimately i, don't, I, I, have no I don't understand how he was a regular person on the outside like before this all like everybody got their point before they go crazy though <laughs> okay so. um but i thought it was an, i thought it was an entertaining episode i thought it was yeah good. me too i'm yeah. interested in seeing where it goes from here but i think no good things are happening yeah no it <laughs> looks like it's going down next episode yeah so. all right well look thank you guys again for watching another real talk reaction for the walking dead season 10 episode number 14 and until next time people peace and we'll John Five in the air. Let's go! I got to be at the lockdown. Cause I'm the hardest dude in the club right now. She got to be at the lockdown. Cause she the best chick in the club right now. I got to be at the lockdown. Cause I'm the baddest chick in the club right now. He got to be at the lockdown. Cause he the hardest dude in the club right now. Look, I'm on the guest list. Walking past.